must save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Breath of the Wild. As always. Look at Link. He's like, oh man, it's raining again. Here we go. <laughs> and unfortunately, because it's raining, that means I can't really climb on top of this skull tower. That's unfortunate. I wanted to climb up here because there was a uh, sword. Somebody said in the comments there was a sword on top of there. And when I was watching the cutscene, I noticed it, but... Now that it's raining, we can't really do it. So we'll come back to this tower a little bit later. For now, we are going to try to get to that tower over there. That will uncover a huge part of the map. I think that also uncovers part of the map that has the Zora domain. Zora's domain as well. Alright, so I might be able to do a fast launch to like help us get over there a little bit quicker of course I could just warp to that that shrine down there but eh, let's try to do the fast launch should still work even though it's raining I make sure the bomb is in the right spot we're good to go Okay, didn't work there. Let's try again. Eh, eh, one more time here. Okay, not going into bullet time when I'm pulling the bow out. I'm not sure why. There we go. And going to put one of those and boom. Of course, I'm running out of stamina, so lucky for me. This will refill my stamina and overfill it. That's actually really, really useful. But for now, let's just use one of these small ones. And there's the shrine. We're passing that. I think I'm slowing down now. Well, I guess we could have just warped to the shrine. <laughs> we literally only made it this far. Um, actually, since we're right next to the stable, let's go ahead and rest. Actually, no. Okay, it's going to be daylight. I was going to say, I don't want to be playing in the rain all the time. But since it's about to be daylight, no big deal. Also, now I can literally teleport my horse. So, no big deal on calling a uh, cookie. Whereas before, you know, I had to go to a stable and get cookie. Not, not anymore. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day, wherever you guys might be. Uh, this is hopefully going to be a productive episode. Octorok Tentacle, nice. Oh, hi. Skeleton Lizard Boys. Very nice. An Enhanced Lizal Spear. That's actually pretty nice. But I already have really nice weapons. That's the problem when you get like really good weapons you don't really want to get. I have a lot of clubs though. Should I keep the sledgehammer or the spiked moblin club? I think I'm just gonna keep. I'll, I'll chuck that. I know it's a really good weapon, but I already have a few different club weapons, and I don't have a single spear weapon, so it's good to have at least one one of every weapon. You know what I mean? 
bring a cookie in here. He's just vibing. Don't mind the boar, man. He's he's just vibing over there. Did his eyes just turn green? That was freaky. Yeah, we're gonna get away from the possessed animals over here. And we're gonna go north. No, south. Southeast? Oops, sorry. Ha! Somebody should keep track of how many foxes I've killed in this game. I feel so bad, man. I don't mean to kill the foxes. I actually love the foxes in this game. There's actually so many in this game compared to the real world. I feel like. Look at that big tree up there. I feel like we gotta go up there. There's also ruins down there. There's so much to explore. I wanna check out everything. I always feel like there's more, way more to do than I have time to do on the on the episode, which makes me feel bad. Oh yeah, this is definitely something. What's up, man? Oh, he wants he wants to sell. Three hundred rupees? That's a lot. <laughs> um, do I even need a shield? I mean, what about what about this one in the middle? Yeah, a hundred rupees. All right, that's a little more reasonable. The Hebra Mountains to the northwest. Ah, for shield surfing. Gotcha. All right, random shield. Oh. Oh, he's got arrows. I want, I want the arrows. Die. There we go. No no arrows? That's like the only thing I wanted. I wouldn't have even killed those guys. All right, whatever. All right, Cookie, so let's look down here. What is going on down here? Is it just ruins? I always feel like there's gonna be a, an EX chest or a Korok seed or something. All right, so we're making actually pretty good progress to this tower, it looks like. I'm just seeing if I had enough clearance. A luminous stone way down there. Oh yeah, and that shrine right there. Alright, you know what? We might be able to get to that shrine. Maybe if I jump off this big tree? Wait, what? What's happening? What? Oh. Alright, we're going, guys. Oh man, I don't even think I have the height. All right, we're just gonna do this. Come on, baby. Easy. With the style at the end. All right, now I'm way down here again. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna make it just by flying, so I had to go into shield surf mode. That's pretty cool. All right, Cookie. We need to get to that tower. ASAP. And then, I don't know, maybe we'll start making our way to Zoro's domain. I don't know. I'm not sure if I want to do the Divine Beast yet. I want to get the Master Sword first, but we could at least go to Zoro's domain, probably. All right. I want to actually see if I can fly down to there. See, I don't even think I have the height even right here. I guess we could try it. Oh no, I'm not I'm not going to make that. I could do a bomb blast if I could find I don't think this is a high enough like Yeah, it's not high enough. There's also a shrine way over there. All right, I'm getting very sidetracked. Let's just head towards this tower. The towers are probably most important. 
and then the shrine second. Just because the shrine, the, the towers not only uncover the map, you could teleport to them. I know you could teleport to the shrines, but teleporting to the tower is so much useful because you're so high up that you can jump down to anywhere else. I know my friend Zakarion, who's playing through this game also, he just went and did all the sh uh, towers first, I think. A and getting shrines along the way, you know, but... Which is what we're doing, basically. See that tree just all by itself? I bet you that has a quest or something. Man, look at that tower way up there. That's gonna be a fun one to do. We are pretty high up here. Dang. I bet you I could fly to that if I had the stamina right now, which I do. The shrine or the tower, guys? Oh my gosh. Choices. If I go to that shrine, I have to walk all the way back up here. Like I said, I'm just going to go for the tower right now. We'll get that shrine eventually. Feels bad, man. I passed it up twice. Feels bad. We will get it. We will get it. In fact, I might go get it right after getting this tower. Ooh, another shrine nearby that we're actually heading in the right direction. Okay. Look at that really large enemy encampment down there, too. What's going on down there? That's a really big fortress. And there's a shrine way over there and a stables. That's like way over there. Oh, we're getting pretty close. So is there a shrine right next to this tower, too? There must be. Oh no, not not another one of these. Wait. Really? Back that way? Oh my gosh, that's actually kind of far. Do I want to go for that? Alright, let's get the tower first. I'm so sidetracked by all this stuff. Ooh, actually, that's a big drop. You do have a lot of time to get over there. Alright, fine. Fine, Korok. I will do it. I better not regret this. It's actually farther than it looks. Oh my gosh. Am I gonna make it? I'm starting to wonder if you need, like, Revali's Gale to get some of these. Come on, Lake. Come on, Lake. Go, 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 go. Ah. Oh my gosh. We're gonna make it. I don't regret getting the Korok Seed, but I do regret that we had to back travel to get it again. But it's alright. We got nothing but time, and honestly I like this view. This is a really good view. On both sides. <laughs> like, I'm on this epic ridge, and I just have amazing views on both sides. I wonder if the shrine is in the mountain. If it stops beeping as I walk over this, then it probably is. But it might be really close to the tower. Still beeping. Ah, there it is. Alright, yeah, there's a shrine right down there. Let's go get it, guys. Actually, yeah, with this. At least it's not raining for once. And now it's morning. What did we find? Whoa, it's a Zora place. That's cool. Oh, hi. It's, a, it's an actual Zora. A big hearty radish. That's a really, really good item. It's Torfew. Or Torfau. Oh. 
Oh. It must be my lucky day. I apologize for calling out to you so suddenly. I'm Torfo of the Zora. I've been searching for a Hylian like you for a very long time. <sighs> my home, Zora's domain, is in terrible danger. That is why Prince Sidon sent me in search of a strong Hylian warrior. Oh. Prince Sidon is waiting at Inogo Bridge. Would you please talk to the prince and perhaps, I don't know, save us all? We would ever be ever so grateful. <laughs> yeah, I'll just uh, I'll, I'll just go save your entire race, but uh, in a minute, I want to get this shrine first, okay? I like watching the cutscene of the shrine, like, awakening right here. Oh, I love that. Ah, looks so good. All right. Let's see. Hopefully, this shrine is easier than the last one. Got to take a sip of my tea to prepare myself. Hmm. Wow, that's hot. Whew. Maybe let it cool for another minute. Oh. It's our first test of strength. And it's only a minor test of strength at that, so it should be easy. Should be easy. I only have one one-handed weapon, which makes it very difficult. That means that I have... <laughs> Uh, harder time to use my shield to block his attacks, but that's alright. This should be pretty easy, actually, because of all the pillars. And he should drop me a guardian weapon. And a guardian shield! Alright. Here we go, boys. Okay, okay. Alright, he does a, a vertical slash. Which means I'm going like this. We're gonna go heavy damage here. Heavy damage. Look at that. And we're gonna hide behind this. I can do that too. Wow. Pathetic. I thought it would be a lot harder than that. No, no joke. In episode 7, the little mini guardians in that one shrine were way harder than this. But whatever. Um. Dang. I like every weapon I have. Alright, sorry. I like the spear, but. That's a guardian sword and a guardian shield. I'm not gonna leave that sitting there. Uh, I bought this shield for a hundred, so I'm gonna keep that. We'll drop this. This is the Zell shield. <laughs> I might get. What do you guys think I'll get in the chest up here? I'm gonna guess an opal. Maybe a sapphire. A knight's bow. Twenty-six damage. All right. Um. Ooh. Gonna drop that soldier's bow. Nice, easy shrine, man. Upgraded weapons and shields. Didn't even get hit once. Got a spirit orb, so now we have eight, right? Now I can get two heart containers. Woo! Let's go. Eight spirit orbs. Ah. All right, let's go talk to Prince Sidon. We're actually going to progress the story a tiny bit today, boys. How about that? And girls, if there's any girls watching. Boys and girls. Let's go talk to Prince Sidon. He's pretty cool. When, you do, when we do the DLC eventually, you also get to see Prince Sidon as like a little kid. The only thing I also don't really like about the Zora place is it's also like always raining, but it has to do with the quest. Oh wow. Oh man, what are with all these cool weapons? I like the sledgehammer just because it's easy to mine things with. 
I love the double axe because it's easy to open boxes, but the sledgehammer could open boxes as well. Whereas the axe does not do a good job with the uh, mining and stuff, so sorry double axe, I love you. Oh no. Didn't mean to do that. And that's a really scary looking lizard. Yeah, that's a that's like a black lizard. He's going to be strong. A single bomb arrow. And he has a really good weapon, actually. I feel like I want to save this knight's claymore. It was like the first good weapon I ever found. And now that we're already like almost to episode 20 and I still haven't broken it, I feel attached to it. Maybe I'll save this Knight's Claymore until like I fight Ganon or something epic like that. What do you guys think? Or should I just use it? Mm. Yeah, I guess I'll keep using what I'm using. Another Knight's Claymore, my goodness. Um. Yeah, I guess we're dropping the Boko Bat. Right? I mean, that does a little more damage. Alright, where were we? Prince Sidon, yes. Let's go talk to the Prince. Sorry to keep you waiting. Prince Sidon. Sorry to keep you waiting. Should never keep a prince waiting, right? Cue epic cutscene. Say hey there, young one. Up top, above you. <laughs> nice flip. Sidon, Zora Prince. Pardon the entrance, but you're a Hylian, aren't you? I was hoping perhaps you'd have a moment to talk. It should say Crown Prince, because he is the only Zora Prince. <sighs> Sorry, I took a sip of my tea. Aha! A Hylian! Yes, I knew it! Oh, pardon me! <laughs> I am Sidon, the Zora Prince! And what is your name? Go on, please tell me. Uh. Link? Your name is Link? What a fantastic name! Hmm, though I cannot shake the feeling that I've heard it somewhere before. Well, in any case, it is a strong name. To be honest, I've been watching you. Okay, Stalker. I've seen the way you work. I can tell by how you carry yourself that you are no ordinary person. Link, you must be a strong warrior among the Hylians, correct? Yeah, that's right. Aha! Just as I suspected! I am a Zora Prince, after all. I have an eye for talent that is unparalleled. Okay. Yes, exquisite. I've been searching for someone like you for a long while. A man like you, Link, who carries himself with power. Right now, Zora's domain is in grave danger because of the massive rainfall coming from divine beast Varuta. Please, promise you will help us. We need your strength, warrior. Won't you please come to Zora's domain with me? Uh, sure. Uh -uh. Wow, really? Thank you, Link. You are indeed the man I thought you were. Now Zora's domain will be saved for certain. No time to waste. Hurry up and head over. Because of the rain, the cliffs are too wet to climb. To reach the domain, you will need to go straight along this path. Of death. As a Hylian, I know you are unable to swim up the river. As such, the path to the domain may be a bit treacher treacherous. You likely have a tough fight in store. There are monsters up ahead that attack with electricity. <laughs> Don't give up. I believe in you. Uh. Oh, that's right. I have something that I would like to give you. This is just a small trinket to show that I have faith in you. Thanks. Uh. It is a drink that will increase your resistance to electricity. I'm not sure why, but its effects do not seem to work for Zora, perhaps because it was made specifically for Hylians. It should work wonders for you, though. I shall go ahead and make sure that there is not 
anything strange going on where you are headed. Okay. I'm counting on you. Wow, he's fast. Prince Sidon's awesome, though. You gotta admit, guys. Our first encounter with royalty. Reach Zora's Domain, which is over there. Okay. Woo! Alright, um, this is actually quite an epic journey. It'll probably take more than one episode just to get there. If you guys have never done this journey. So, I'll go ahead and start it, but we're probably not going to finish. Oh, right over your head. And seeing as I'm already running low on arrows, I'm going to try to conserve. Because I know there's going to be some parts up ahead that we are going to want the arrows. Boom! Ten arrows. Thank you. Ooh, a Staminoka Bass. Those guys are super annoying. I'm just trying to run past. Just looking around. Oh my gosh. The stupid thing. I knew I should have killed him. Wow, another 10 arrows. Very nice. We're actually getting a lot of arrows, so never mind. I don't have to conserve. If every lizard drops 5 to 10 arrows, you know, we're good. I want to get the, uh, the rocks over here. This is why I like the sledgehammer. Easy peasy. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. What is that? Traveler sword? Please. I want the arrows. And the frogs. Oh my goodness. Didn't even notice the zap shrimps. We haven't even like gotten any progress, but I'm getting so much loot. I'm not complaining. See, this is why it takes a while to get up there. All right. Wow. He didn't have a chest right there, did he? On that platform? He did. Of course he did. I gotta go back down again. I hear an angry lizard, but I don't see him. He had a bow down there, too. Okay, that's, that's a pretty bad spear, but the bow, I bet you, is not terrible. Can't climb the cliffs? Says who? Alright. Let's put on our sneak armor. One hit. Woo! 20 rupees. Zoro's domain ahead. Alright guys, so I think this is a pretty good spot to end the video because I know that up ahead there's going to be a ton 
of combat. So, I'm not going to sneak too far up there. But I do want all those fish. Oh my goodness, you see that? Okay, I blew up some of the loot, but... It's worth it. Look at that. So many Staminoka basses. Oh my gosh. Probably just bass, not basses. Okay. Now we're going to end the episode. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. This is actually an, an exciting part that we're about to uh, head into. A part that I've been looking forward to like since before I even started recording this uh, series. Because it, the, the adventure to Zoro's Domain is it's one of the first like really hard things that that you do in the game, so. Or at least most most people think it's pretty hard. Man, so much fish in this river. Don't forget to, to check the river always. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Please drop a like if you do. It really helps me out and helps other people find this series too. And don't be scared to share it if you think somebody else might like it. I think there's a lot of Zelda fans that would probably... Just enjoy to watch some Zelda these days, you know what I mean? So anyways, this is Lucian Sword. Thank you for watching, guys. Take it easy. Hope to see you in the next one.